Um, I'm going to transfer this plant that's in a small wicking container that's been in there for several months and it's the plants gotten pretty big as you can see it's even putting out fruits and it's supposed to be a lightning mustard hab but it but I think it's a really nice chocolate pod so I saved seeds and this is what this is from is those seeds and I finished my batch of holy basil so I'm going to reuse this 10 gallon tote and I took off the the mesh. The um, I'm hoping the, the roots in a passive system should grow straight down, um, not interfere with this. I even move it over, probably maybe to this hole. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to use this tote with the float valve that's already installed, and this will hook to this five gallon container. I may even increase the size of this later, but for now, that's fine. Um, so I just added about three gallons of water. I'm going to mix in about three teaspoons of this Flora Nova Grow. Using this mix master to measure from Pepper Donkey. Both this and the Flora Nova, as well as some other things, uh, just recently got from Pepper Donkey. So I'm putting this to use. So this has been getting master blend. And I've got water in there right now, trying to flush it out a little bit. Switch it over to the Flora Nova. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix this up, and then we'll try to cram the roots in through one of these holes. And then I'll just probably put some aluminum foil or something over the rest, just to block the light out. Uh, let's go ahead and um, do that, and we'll go ahead and get this mixed up and get the plant set up. Okay, so I'm going to shake this up really well. I'm going to use the teaspoon measure on this me measure master. Measure that out. It's really thick stuff here. There we go. Probably have to swish this around and get all out of there. There we go. I'll stir that up really well and I'll do a quick nutrient strength test and pH test. This is about the level I want to maintain, so I'm going to do a quick adjustment to my float valve. Okay, all right, let me uh, get my nutrient meter. Okay, so I'm um, using my Blue Lab Truncheon. Usually stir it a little while because it adjusts to the temperature and everything. And the initial reading you get may not be correct, so it'll at every seconds I should get a I'm looking for. So it's between six and seven hundred, which is about exactly what I was going for. It's a good strength for passive hydroponic setup. Okay, um, let me check the pH next. Five point nine. That's good too. 
5.9. So that's a good acceptable um, pH for this. All right, now let me get my try to get my plant moved in here. I'm going to truth here. So I'm going to stick it in this hole. It's a little bit of a dilemma here. So roots have been kind of. I may have to cut this plastic. I really shouldn't need to because I've got to get it in this other hole too. So I'm just going to lay it over and try to work it out. Okay, I got it out. I'm going to run to the water hose and rinse this off real quick and I'll be right back. So it's in, it's in there now. I'm going to scooch this up by the railing, probably tie the plant to the railing or kind of wedge it up in there a little bit, sort of have some support. And I'm going to put some aluminum foil, cover this up. So I'm going to fill this with a nutrient solution and I've got a lid, snaps on here, black lid that will keep that clean and algae free. So let me get this all positioned and I'll show it to you one last time. Okay, so I've got everything set up. There's the plant. Um, got everything covered. And got the reservoir filled up. Uh, I'm going to show that. It's actually snapped on there pretty tight. Uh, but it's filled up five gallons of the nutrient mix. So that will um, should work. You can see how big it got. Um, just inside this thing so it should do very well I think I'll periodically need to um, turn this off and drain this flush it periodically and it probably would have made sense if I had this on the other side I may turn this plant around because that would make it a little easier to just drain off the uh, porch there but um, so anyway yeah it's periodically I need to drain flush it fill it back with nutrients because after a while with a shallow level solution it's going to end up with a kind of an imbalanced nutrient um, excess salts and whatnot so it's good to change it out every once in a while maybe at least every couple of weeks um, maybe a little longer I've got another setup that I just made it's um, so has a float valve in it too. I don't have the reservoir attached yet because I don't really need to. But um, I've got a video I'm working on showing how I installed the float valve. It's a little more detailed than what I showed on this video. So I have that up. I want to wait a, <clears throat> a couple weeks so I can show how the plants are doing. But these are some Kangstar crosses. Starwatcha bonnet and uh, Kangstar red. I just transferred these yesterday. But uh, anyway, hope you like that. Um, I'll follow my channel. Um, click subscribe and click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. And you'll get notifications when I post updates. And I'll feature this in some of my grow updates. And I'll, I'll do some individual follow-ups as well. Showing how this system is doing. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.